Right, I have been vlogging for the last, well, is it three days I've been fishing. Um, just wanted a bit of my time, chill out, bait fishing over the fen, so. Um, saw a chunk roll in three smaller ones, uh, about 180 yards out, boated them out, and then this morning no show. So, decided to get somewhere for a bite. And I've done that social over the pads like in the weeks so I've done, I don't know, four and a half hundred, five hundred miles this week. And uh, just parked in the uh, wall pack car park for some reason. The wind's howling down the end of Lake, Lake 8 and uh, I don't really fish this one. It's got some a fence keep them closed but it's got some oddens in it and there's uh, there's one common I lost that off the top years ago looked about 38 and that ain't been out but there's a mirror in here and he reckons it's the biggest fish on the complex no so I personally haven't seen it yet I see another one like a zip linear but real big scales. Put him about 33, maybe 35, so like right in the edge. Basically right under my feet. I only seen him once. But the wind is howling down the end. So I uh, thought I'm gonna go and have a look here for a change. And I've been on a bit of a mission today. I've been looking at loads of loads of lakes. And this is actually my second time here today. And I ain't even walked on this lake yet. The sun sort of keeps coming in and out. One minute you think it's gonna rain. And the temperature drops from sort of 18, 19 down to sort of 15, 16. <coughs> then it goes really hot again. So I've got a night and I've got to leg it home because it's bank holiday. So. Got a load of things planned up here in a little bit it's like a butterfly garden i hope they're here you can see them then i love all that sort of thing in nature don't know how many miles i walked today there you go right it's just up here it's madness it's just like loads of them now I'm expecting to see fish down in this corner from the wind. Right, let's see if there's any butterflies about. Jim's guided tour. Right, we're coming into the zone. Oh dear. You normally like loads of them here. Oh well. Oh well, looks like they've gone. Right. We ain't going to see fizz in here, it's going to be obvious carp jumping, rolling, sticking their heads out. Now when I uh, had a few fish out of Lake 7, I had the li odd little walk up here. Because it's been open right up. And uh, been a lot of fish hanging around in this top corner here. Yeah, this is where I've been seeing them a lot in here. 
Yeah, look, there's two on the top there. Hey, up, there's one. Excellent. Look on the top there, look, see him? That was a mirror. So I reckon they're on the top and on the bottom. There's a little poke hole in there. There's another little swim what someone opened just round there last year and that's basically closed up again. Um, two rods in there, innit? See that one sitting on the top? I don't know what to do really, I don't know whether to come round here with some mixers or get my kit up here. Fish on the bottom. Can't see any fizzing yet. It's about, I think it's about 60 fish in here. And they seem to be mostly sort of 18 to 24 pound, I would have thought. Yeah, about 24 pound. That's the average. Can't see any more. That was a bit of a result. But you think that was staged. I've just seen some fizzing um, where I see that light coloured one, well there was two, um, cruising to the from snags just here. So I'm gonna see if I get a better angle on it and have a look. I'm gonna approach this a bit quietly. Is in there where that point is on the right. Water clarity, um, a bit unusual this lake, but this year it's been a bit murky. Look, there's another one fizz in there. on the top. I don't know what to do really, I don't know whether to go and get a floater rod. It's about two foot under the surface. I can only just make them out with my glasses on. That's one right here, busy. It's 
got to be bottom rods. Look at that fizz in there, look. Just behind that fizz there, there's loads of little patch going off. Right, I'm going to go and watch back over there. Look at that fizz in there. Proper on it. Look, one, two, three. Three in a row there. The middle one's quite a big one. Or good one. Don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try. It's over there. in that corner with his glass I can see him several feet look there's another one there some over there another one there look I'm all over there a massive fizz has just popped up here see the bubbles look there they come look on there One's just jumped right out in front of the swim, close in, where the overhang is. There's a swim just the other side. I haven't seen anything on the top for about eight, eight ten minutes now. I don't know if they're like feeding, then coming up on the top, having a look around in that, and then going back down and feeding. Like watching, observing. It's just like pieces of the jigsaw puzzle still going on down there. You can sort of like learn a hell of a lot, especially when you're targeting fish, certain fish. There's loads and loads of rud on the top down here. Keep coming and going. Start the fizz again there, look. 